one, right? So, of course, as you guys know, I've been covering the instances of um, the sexual indiscretions of a one Brian Callen within the LA comedy, LA comedy scene, LA, LA comedy scene. Um, and of course, the stuff that's happened to Chris Ali, I've also been covering that on this channel. And I guess I was just, you know, bored and stumbling on Google and thought, let me just type in Brian Callen's name on Google News and look what came up. One of the most startling and really confusing stories that I've kind of come across during this whole period. And it features none other than Trisha Paytas, one of my more one of the more unlikable characters I think on YouTube at the moment. I can't stand her. I can't stand her videos. I don't watch any of her content, but she's just annoying, self-obsessed, um, just annoying person. Isn't it? I just have no time for her content. But what an incredibly bizarre headline! Trisha Paytas reveals the troubling reason why an episode on Bank of Hollywood never aired. And it somehow involves Brian Callen. He plays a very prominent part of this story. Really bizarre, right? This is November the 2nd, 2020, so pretty recent. It says the following. YouTube and social media influencer Trisha Paytas has gained negative attention for her controversial statement in the past and her dog shit content. But her recent TikTok posts have shown a side of her, has shown another side of her. In one of her recent posts, she opened up about her episode of the short-lived TV series Bank of Hollywood, which sounds like a terrible short-lived one-season episode of, of a season of something. She was body shamed and humiliated and the host Brian Callen came to her rescue. Brian Callen was hosting a show called Bank of Hollywood, right? Imagine <laughs> her TikTok explanation. Paytas used a TikTok platform to share her experience with her fans. She said, this was the Bank of Hollywood made up of people that I never heard of. Someone from the Pussycat Dolls, this spelling woman, um, some Wilhelmina model guy, and this bitch that I had no idea. Now, first of all, that's a pro proper Tisha Paytas uh, thing to say, right? She's trying to um, sully and insult people that she was on the show and say that they were nobodies when she was on the show with them. So that is always, you know, that's, that's, that's all you need to know about her psyche. It continues. They were so freaking mean to me. So to specify what exactly Paytas was, was talking about, the panel consisted of Melody Fortin, Kennedy's, Kennedy Spelling, uh, Vanessa Russo and Sean Patterson. Right? So we continue. Um... She always looks different in her pictures like this when she does in real life. I'm like, hey, is she going to get mad about this kind of things? But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. continue. She said, uh, basically, I was asking for more money for boob jobs. Yeah. Ever ever the delightful character she is, isn't it? They basically made me take take off my... Didn't make me... I don't know. Basically, I was asking for more money for a boob job. They basically made me take off my whatever that is. Didn't make me, but asked me to take my hoodie off and my bra off, to which I obliged. Of course, right? She's trying to pretend that she's approved. She's got OnlyFans. If you've seen the clips and the images that have been leaked of her OnlyFans, it's not some, it's not her doing Q and A's, right? Let's just say that she she doesn't eat. She, she likes cucumbers, but she doesn't, she doesn't eat them. Let's just say that, right? It continues. They totally obliterated my natural boobs and told me how uneven and gross they were and basically humiliated me and ended up not even giving me the money. So she purposely went to embarrass herself on a show to get a boob job, gets insulted and doesn't get the money and then starts complaining. Typical Trisha Paytas. It continues. The episode never aired, thankfully, right? MTV, they... Imagine the amount of episodes that are in the MTV vault that never aired and if they did air now, they would completely obliterate what that channel that's already obliterated as it is anyway it continues um inappropriate is an understatement and her story explains why no one remembers the show and why it was cancelled she said that she began crying profusely in front of a live studio audience which is no surprise she cries every time every single day every single occasion she's always crying in front of the camera and the host brian callum stopped the haunting scenario pritters continues said the following that's when brian came in and saved the day basically told them to stop filming because i was having an actual breakdown Needs to say, it never aired and I was completely scarred. Oh my God. So Brian Callen saved the day, right? For this absolute mess of a woman, right? Who knew? <laughs> While Pages might be thankful to, for Callen for his act of kindness, he is currently facing sexual assault allegations. <laughs> of course, this has nothing to do with her story, but rather information to keep in mind, assuming he's a reputable person. And Matt, of course, come on, the things. Give the guy a break. Yes, he might have, you know, pinned a girl up against the changing room wall and tried to stick his tongue down her throat and told a woman allegedly that she should be quiet and she's going to be her girlfriend as she quietly raped her in her room. He might have done these things but he's a good guy because he saved Patricia Paytas right <laughs> fans were shocked to hear about her encounter and it's worrisome that a public figure like president of the Wilhelmina models will partake in something so stomach turning what a wild story isn't it Brian Callen saved Patricia Paytas life who would have believed that um, again absolute mess isn't it? no surprise there 
absolute bottom feeders, Z-list celebrities, putting together a really terrible show called the Bank of Bank of Hollywood. I don't know what year that was actually. I'd love to let me see what year that was. Bank of Hollywood. If they've got like a date for on, on IMBD. Bank of Hollywood MTV show. Let's see if someone's someone put something up on there. I'd love to know what day, what year that was that they were kind of filming that show. 2009. Okay, this was ages ago then. This was a long, long time ago. Oh, it's actually images of it. <laughs> oh, it's images of Brian Cannon actually in front of it. It looks terrible. Him being the host of this sort of show. Like, what was the premise? Okay, let's look at Oh, no, let's look at the premise. Let's look at it because they've got the, the, the Wikipedia description here. This is the following. Um, Bank of Hollywood, one season, reality show in 2009. Um, celebrities are asked to donate their own money to everyday Americans who ask them for cash. From a graduate student hoping to get money to buy an engagement ring to his girlfriend to a woman asking for cash to build a wheelchair ramp, no request is out of bounds. Or for candy spelling, poker player Vanessa Russo and publishing executive Sean Patterson and Pussycat Doll singer Melody Fortin decide whether to hand over the cash. Oh, so it's sort of like um, uh, Apprentice for like, you know, yeah, for people, right? I guess, in but for people's problems. So, oh, so she was a contestant on the show. She wasn't even part. She was like one of the people, like, hey, I want money for a boob job. And then they basically rinsed her boobs because I'm assuming she had to take off her bra. And then she didn't get the money. <laughs> Whoa, 2009 was what? 2009 wasn't even that long ago. And this was a show on TV. What absolute madness. Absolute madness. So for as much as these guys might be monsters, which they definitely are, there's definitely an industry, an ecosystem that exists in Hollywood that perpetuates some of this nastiness. This is a TV show greenlit by MTV. God almighty. What a terrible, terrible show. But again, lasted one season. It makes complete sense, isn't it? Why it only lasted one season? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's not many images of it, is it? It's actually, it's completely been scrubbed from the net, I guess. But yeah. Big up Karen in it for being a good guy in that regard. Big up Karen for being a good guy in that regard.